I'm jewelry designer Wendy Brandis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't already subscribe, hit that subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any upcoming productions. Thank you to writer Michelle Baranata. I'm so excited that she picked my Agrippina poison ring to include in a feature in Harper's Bazaar Singapore. I hope lots of people in Singapore love my jewelry and demand that I come over there because I was there once way back in 2002 and I would love to go back. I'm pretty obsessed with animals. You see animal motifs in my jewelry and also everyone who knows me in person knows I'm bossed around all the time by two cats and a dog. So definitely something I enjoyed in Singapore was a tour of the Singapore Zoo and they do a midnight tour which makes sense because nighttime is when animals are up and roaming around. So they drive you around on like this little train type of thing and my new favorite animal right then was um, something called a taper and it looks like a combination between a really large pig, a hippo, something else and an Oreo. I don't know what the something else is, there's like a big snout on these things. And um, they were just kind of roaming around in a big herd and as we went through them, the tour guide said, whatever you do, don't feed the tapers, they're not allowed to have, you know, snack food. And people have been feeding the tapers. I did not believe that these tapers had gone untouched. They were pretty much, they weren't looking for food. They were opening your wallet and taking out $5 and being like, I'll bring you the change from the vending machine. It's all good. So I really love them because they're roly-poly and very graphic looking and they were just bold and demanding <laughs> probably because they've been overfed in the zoo by people misbehaving, but it was still hilarious. And one of these days, I swear I'm going to do a taper or jewelry. Getting back to the jewelry I have actually already made, uh, the Agrippina poison ring is 18 karat yellow gold with 40 points of diamonds. It was inspired by the Roman Empress Agrippina, who might have been a poisoner. Not all my poison rings that are named for royal ladies, uh, that doesn't mean that they necessarily poison someone, but some of them have, and Agrippina might have been one of them. She was the great granddaughter of the first Roman Emperor Augustus, and this is one book I recommend. See, she was the sister of the notorious Emperor Caligula. She was the fourth wife of her uncle, because that's how they did things, uh, Claudius, and he, of course, is the topic of these great novels by Robert Graves, I, Claudius. They're collected here as the Claudius novels. I highly, highly recommend these. Um, and she was the mother of the Roman Emperor Nero. So she was related to a lot of some important and some crazy people and some crazy and important. The Emperor Caligula was notoriously depraved. And uh, the Emperor Nero, Agrippina's son, is the one who supposedly was fiddling while Rome burned. Now, that was impossible because fiddles were not invented then, but he might have been doing something other than what he was supposed to. One of the things Nero was definitely not supposed to do was murder his own mother, but he did it, even after all she had done for him, because he was the son of her and one of her other husbands, and she convinced Claudius, her uncle and her husband and the emperor of Rome, to make Nero, her son, his heir to the throne over his own biological son, and that was just outrageous in those days. It was all about family dynasty. Nero became emperor when he was about 16 or 17 years old, and at first he was happy to let his mom and two other advisors rule for him, but then, you know, as kids do, he got rebellious. Agrippina wasn't having any of this, and she might have been so displeased with her son that she started to say Claudius's son was actually the rightful heir. So first, Nero had the son poisoned the other son. Once he got rid of that competition, he decided to get rid of mom. So he tried to have Agrippina killed and supposedly he tried to poison her, then drown her, and then he finally had to stab her because she kept surviving everything. She was a badass. As I said in a previous blog post on this piece, and you'll find that link below, um, Agrippina is definitely not someone I'd want to know in real life because a lot of the people that she knew died very painful deaths. I mean, where do you think Nero picked up his habits of poisoning, drowning, and stabbing people? He learned it from mom and the rest of the family. I do find Agrippina's story fascinating because she was powerful and ruthless, just like all the men around her, but she kind of had to exercise her power in a roundabout way, often behind the scenes and kind of negotiating with these different powerful men to get her way. I've always been interested in stories of women like that, women who lived in times when they had no rights at all and somehow still had enormous influence. 
Poison ring is just a synonym for a locket ring. It just means a ring that opens and closes like a locket. When I say my jewelry is to die for, I don't mean it. Don't use any real poison in these, um, but you can wear it and enjoy it and read great books about all these fascinating people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one.